Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa and now to first major conversation. Now, after a week of confusion over its leadership, Nigeria's ruling on Progressives Congress may have finally found a resolution as the recently removed leadership of the party's caretaker and extraordinary convention planning committee returned to take control of the party's sectariat. Senator John Akbano Doerge, uh, who is the secretary of the committee on Tuesday, returned to the Wuse 2 headquarters of the All Progressives Congress called the Buhari House amid tight security and jubilation amongst the party staff. Now, there were reported moves by some governors, including the governor of Kaduna State, Nasser El Rufai, to remove Akbano Dodege and the chairman of the Ketika Committee and Yobe State Governor, May Mela Buni. Now, the plan allegedly was to install the Niger State Governor, Abubakar Bello, as a substantive caretaker chairman of the All Progressives Congress at a National Executive Committee meeting slated for March 17, 2020. However, the attempt was botched by a letter from the Independent National Electoral Commission, which affirmed Buni's leadership. Now, INEC in that letter had also stated that it would only recognize correspondences or letters from Buni and Akbano Dwedeke signed by these two. Now, having been reaffirmed by the Secretary, uh, having been, been reaffirmed uh, by INEC and the APC, Akbano Dwedeke then returned to the party secretariat on Blantyre Street on Tuesday morning and was escorted to his office by about four uh, AK-47 wielding policemen. Uh, the scribe went on to address the media at the party's headquarters and he said that it became necessary to clarify in his words the event of last week, referring to the takeover of the chairmanship seat by uh, Niger State Governor Sani Bello. Udoed again insisted that the party, the ruling party, is crisis-free, despite all that has been going on and despite all the headlines. He also insisted the party is strong and united in giving Nigeria what he called the transformative leadership and good governance that it had promised. Now, on Monday, it was reported that President Muhammad Buhari had waded into the leadership crisis ravaging the party, which, of course, Abandoa Dega has insisted is not a crisis, after various leaders of the party took the battle for the soul of the APC to London, where Buhari himself is receiving medical attention. And, of course, we had headlines like, Buhari saves what exactly went on and what are the prospects for the All Progressives Congress following this development? Joining us now to discuss this, we would like to say good morning and welcome to the Secretary of the Medical and Risk Convention Planning Committee of the All Progressives Congress, Ibrahim Oshinowo. Uh, Mr. Oshinowo, good morning to you and thanks for joining us. Thank, thank you for having me. Nice to be here again. Okay, indeed. Um, uh, do you agree with the, with the headlines and uh, talk that... Uh, it was President Mohammed Buhari who saved Budi, or do you think it was Einek who came to his rescue? Um, honestly, um, like I did say, um, the, the, like, I, like I did mention in uh, my interview with Arise TV the last time, is that our party is not witnessing any you know, political rank or leadership change. Um, Governor Abulolo, aka Abulolo, Governor of Niger State, a good dear brother, you know, party leader, party man, and you know, the co progressive the Governor of Niger State, Governor Bello, uh, was he, he is still he is still the member of the CCPC, is a deputy chairman of the committee led by you know Governor Boni. So what just happened is that Governor Boni right now is he is on the medical tour. And he has handed over the battle and reign of leadership to Governor Bello. So what happened on that? I was in, I was at the Secretariat. I was invited by Rice TV. I was on here at that moment on Monday when Governor Bello came into the Secretariat. Nothing unusual happened. You know, there's a lot in the media. There's a lot, you know, different stories. And we strongly believe that that's the handwork of PDP, you know, trying to create confusion of what transpired in their party a couple of years back or trying to lure that into our party. We are doing very, very well. Our president, Momo Dubrari, is the father of the nation and the father of our party. So he has no issue. You know, in, in a big political party like APC, there are some, you know, there will be some family fractions, you know, here and there, you know, people feeling that the Bonilla, the CCPC will not do the convention and the rest. But at the end, 
so many programs is ongoing right now. You know, we have instead of funding as we talk the Mr. Yeah, Shinoa, you know, uh, are you there, please? Uh, the, the quality of your audio has uh, has dropped. I don't know if you can hear us. Um, in, in case you you can hear us, maybe using the earpiece, can you pull it out so we can hear you better? Um, but we'll, we'll try and get back to him. Let's see if we can fix that. Uh, interesting points he's made. It's always fantastic to talk to the dramatist personnel because they'll <laughs> give you um, the background information and what you may not even see on the pages of the newspapers, you know. So, of course, um, he said that um, Governor Bello of Niger State was indeed Buni's deputy in that um, um, Ketika and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee. That's the longest name for a party committee I've had <laughs> in the history of Nigerian politics that I know. You know, but, 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 you know, that letter purportedly from Buni written to Governor Bello saying, I'm going, I'm going to Dubai to take care of myself while I'm going, please act in my stead. If, if that letter is true, and I'd like uh, uh, Ibrahim Oshinowo to tell us if that letter is actually authentic, because, you know, it So just, he was actually acting in... Yeah, in it, it, the, then it means he, that this was, was sort of like a stab in the back of Muni. You know, I gave the party to you, and you sat on my chair, and then you said your chair. But we would like to really hear from him. I'm told we have Ibrahim Oshinowo, who is uh, Secretary of the Medical and Risk Convention Committee of the APC back, okay? Uh, he's not yet back, but once he comes back, we'll put him on the air. These are the intrigues ahead of 2023, Mercy. So, but um, we, we can never take out the fact that there will always be interest, and politics is interest. And every time you say politics is about the fact that that's interest, people would always act in their own interest. And so uh, it might just be an opportunity for, mm -hmm. you know, um, Bello to think that, hey, you know, why don't I grab this? But if you look at it um, holistically, you want to... Um, say that there's a lot. Now, you had open up on Qatari talking about another element in the party taking advantage of the fact that it is unconstitutional because that's the biggest hit. So just imagine that you have another person who has interest who is going to, you know, push the card and come out to say, hey, we're going to challenge the fact that you have, these are, these are sitting governors, except I'm wrong, correct me. These are sitting governors. So it, it would make nonsense of, um, the APC, and th there might just be a tendency that uh, having them on the ballot paper for 2023 uh, might not be a possibility, and which is not it. Now, the reason a lot of people will say, um, why are we, you know, you bent in talking about the APC? We need to understand that it's a ruling party, seven years and counting. Uh, it's a lot. If you look at the seats that they occupy, mm -hmm. uh, you, you find out that, you know, at the National Assembly, they have more seats than, uh, of course, it's a dominant party at the time. And so, very funny, uh, with 208, because I'm, uh, we're hoping that we'll connect with Tina and we'll find out what they're going to do. He also needs to verify, like you mentioned, there are some issues that you don't know that you hear from the... So, so, so we do have him back, and uh, Ibrahim Oshinowo. Yes. Uh, Mr. Oshinowo, can you hear us, please? Yes, I can. Thank okay, you. Okay, you were making a point before we, we lost the connection, so please, can you continue? So, um, you know, we, we, we really don't have much in our party. Things is getting well. As uh, right now, Buni, uh, Governor Buni is the leader of the party, is the leader of the CACPC, uh, the Catholic Committee, Vice Senator Arpano is the secretary, and Governor Abu remains our own. He is a party man, he's a vice chairman, he's a vice chairman of the committee, and we are moving forward. I can assure you, we're going to do our convention uh, on the 26th of you know, March 2022, by grace of God. So, you know, anybody can go to London. I, I, you know, I've been to London, you know, a couple of times this year, and I'm still going to be in London. So, anybody can go to London. So, I don't want me to to get better about that. But, but, but you, you, you were, say, were you trying to say before we lost you that there was no crisis in the party? That all no, that no, we no, saw no, was the PDP, not, not PDP no, or putting headlines in the papers and making papers talk about what was not there. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's it. They just, you know, meet, they are just saying what is not, you know, I can say they are prognosing because we, we, we have credible intelligence of what PDP is trying to do via few media. I'm not saying all the media, few media, you know, how to, reach, you know, trying to create propaganda, trying to create, you know, proxy member of APC, some boys goes on the TV saying, you know, because, different because things Mr. about Shino, We saw the video of, of Bello, Governor uh, uh, Sunny Bello of Niger State, sitting on Buni's chair and making some statements. And, of course, we know what Governor Elrofai said 
you know, we know Governor Look. and some other members of the party have said. Um, uh, so, and, and, and the party wrote, um, the party wrote, this is on record, it, you know, it's incontrovertible. The party wrote to INEC to say we are, we, are, we are planning something, we're going to have a meeting on Thursday. Um, only for INEC to write back to the party to say, we don't recognize the signatures on this letter. We want to see the signatures of Boni and Akpan Odoi, and then we can accept this letter and be at your meeting, your next meeting. So why are you we saying do, now telling that Nigeria is that it, was, it was not true? The we, do yes. we do respect the letter you are quoting first. The letter did not mention Boni or Odoi, the secretary. The letter referred to them that the chairman, the chairman and the secretary needs to sign. And what they mean, what that means is that it, when Buni was, when Governor Buni was traveling out of the country, he only delivered a letter or transfer power to Governor Bello. At least, they, we, Annex is expected, or Annex is expecting that a copy of that letter should be forwarded to them. Annex is just making a reference. It's not saying that there's issue. Annex is just making a reference that there has to be a change, there has to be a notification from Buni to them. And those are just simple, you know, administrative issues. And it doesn't have any Mr. right Shino, to be Why didn't Akpan Odoed again sign that letter? Sorry? Why didn't Akpan Odoed again sign the letter as secretary of the committee? Akpan, 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 needs to, Akpan needs to do other functions. He was not in town. In fact, the letter was signed by, I think, one admin. It was not even Governor Bello that signed the letter, I guess. It was not Governor Bello that signed the letter. You are so, saying something about Governor Erufai. Governor Verify is one of our best, you know, hands and one of our best performing governor. You know, it's entitled to his own view. You know, you know, in politics, you have different issues. I, I might decide to have a different opinion about certain issues. Would you say it's a different that... issue? I, I, I'm, um, I'm... Would you say that's a different issue? Because he was very clear about, you know, the statement that he made that the president, uh, you know, had ensured that. Uh, uh, you you don't have Buni. He was removed, and uh, you had Bello. Do you do you have do you have the clip of where the president is saying? Bunish no, but that's Bunish. not the case. Now a lot of people would say you have you already here have mentioned that uh, Governor Erufa is one of the best of the APC. You have said yes. that, and and uh, a lot of people perceive him and would not think that he would be an element of propaganda. Look, my, my dear sister, this is party politics. Don't forget our primary is coming in a couple of months. And different opinion, different interests is going to you know, roll in. I don't want you to get bothered about that. But governor Erufa is just a one governor out of 22 governors and one deputy governor. Don't forget that. So he's entitled to his own opinion. You understand? If you are saying the president said, the president said, you should expect, you know, official, you know, uh, official statement from Femi Adesino from the chief of staff and other cabinet member. But I'm not saying, that's why I said, he might possibly meet with the president, maybe via phone or he's in London, but those statements need to be official. Mm. So we are not going to believe that just one, one governor is saying this and that's what. But, but now yeah. you can see that the party has released the timetable, we have released Yeah, the, be, 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 the, before, we go, there, before the, we go there, before we go there, Mr. Shinawa, before we go there, them. sorry to interrupt you, sir. But, but you're, you're, you're insinuating that there was no crisis in the party. You're insinuating At that all. Governor Bello didn't try to, to, to take over the reins or the office of the seat of the chairman of the party. You're insinuating mm -hmm. that he only was just acting in the state of Buni, which is not true. So that is not true. Because we know that, that Bello addressed, there was a statement, he was captured on video. We know that Governor Rotimia carried the law of Ondo State, said those who are backing Governor Buni are Yahoo Yahoo governors. We know that Nasser Erufai has also been backing Bello. We know that the next meeting to hold, that was meant to hold on Thursday, was meant to install, officially install Bello as the, the substantive chairman of the party. And that was why the man was, was, was the road to INEC. We know that Akwan you know has been around but was not allowed to function. That's why he didn't sign the letter. So what, what, why are you painting this the wrong way? You, you, Please be you know truthful what? to Nigerians. You know what? And stop you the know propaganda. What? Let, me, let, me make, let me make something clear to you. Are you a member of APC? The facts are, are, are out APC. there. The videos are, you, are, are there. Member the APC? statements are there. You are not a member why, of APC. Why, why, why did the governor of all those states call, call some of the governors supporting bully? And the word support itself shows that it's a crisis. Why did he call them Yahoo Yahoo governors, sir? 
let me answer those questions. I guess that question is posed to me. All Let right. me answer those questions. One, you are not a member of APC. All the information you are getting or reading from the paper or you are getting or being reported are third-party information. I am giving you an inside information. You know what? There's no issue or there's no, you know, there's no, there's no, any governor can say, Mr. A is a Yahoo Yahoo governor. You should ask Governor Kerry Donu, who are the Yahoo Yahoo governors he's talking about? In APC, we don't have a Yahoo Yahoo governors. We have a credible men you know, character who are member who are leading our party in different states. So you should be the, in the best position to uh, to discuss who is the Yahoo Yahoo governor. Number two, Governor Bello, don't forget, is the vice chairman of that of the CECPC committee. So in absence of Huni, he has the authority to act. And when Huni arrives, he's going to take charge. And I'm sure Huni will, will be in town maybe today or tomorrow. And he doesn't, if he has contacted Buni, they, they are both governors. They know how things work. You know, little fractures that you see happen even in your family. You have issues within your kids. You have one or two issues within, and you resolve. It doesn't mean that he has to go to the market square and say, there's crisis, APC is going to pull down. These are works, and these are work and of opposition, the PDP, who are sending people into our party to foil crisis. That's okay. what I'm saying. Don't get bothered about Governor Kedulu. Who are the governor? Ask Governor Kedulu to name the Yahoo Yahoo governor. Okay. Ask Governor Kedulu to name all those Yahoo Yahoo governors. So we don't have Yahoo Yahoo governor. If we don't have, and somebody say Yahoo Yahoo, I can say somebody is a Yahoo Yahoo person. I don't even know what you mean by Yahoo Yahoo. So, so what, 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 did, what, what did the leadership of the party go to London to see President Buhari uh, for? It reminds me of the poem... Uh, Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? He said, I've been to London to see the Queen. What did they go to London to do if there was no issue in the party? How can you ask a sitting governor, what did you go to London to do? I've been going to London for so many, many years. I can decide to go to London this morning. It was because of the Who crisis. Okay, so so um, um, let's move away from that now and look at another issue. Um, you are saying that there's no issue. Of course, you also have... Uh, At all, there's no Oedige, issue. Uh, affirming the fact our party, that no our party is very strong. That you know, uh, Bello was actually acting at a time where you didn't have Buni around. Uh, we'll we'll yes, move please. away from that, but let's look at the issue of having a sitting governor becoming, you know, acting, having a position and acting, and that's contrary to the Constitution of uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, 183. Uh, that particular section of the constitution that says mm -hmm. that no sitting governor whatsoever should hold any position, however. And then, you, you know, because you're also having Buni here, who is a governor, and uh, even if you, 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 the APC will be tilting towards having Benlo, it's also a governor. So, so mm -hmm. what is the party saying about this? This is unconstitutional. Uh, that has been described uh, by a lot of Nigerians, including... Uh, you know, those who uphold the Constitution and understand the law. I will refer you back to Akira Dolu versus um, 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 PDP in the last Undo governorship um, election. The Supreme Court case is a landmark case. It's clear, and I think the Supreme Court verdict has cleared that. You know, you know, if you look at the section you are quoting very well, no governor or deputy governor can engage in a paid job this is not an executive job. It's, it's a committee. It's a committee. It's not a paid job. No benefits. It's just a committee. But what the Constitution was very clear. It said whatsoever. Whatsoever, whether paid. I mean, the, the word whatsoever is very explicit on its own. But can you read? Can you read the line? Can you read that? I, that I don't line have. I can't read it verbatim right now to you. I know. The, I know. Understand? I know. I was. I was in the Supreme Court doing the verdict. Of course, it's a. It's a four to three. But Governor Kerry Dolu case has settled. Is a landmark case that has settled Boni's issue. That's why you don't see any litigation over that. Boni stands illegitimate, and Boni's the committee stand is legitimate and. You know, it's lawful at this time because there is a Supreme Court verdict on it. Don't forget that the same Buni nominated Akere Dolu into uh, Ake, signed Akere Dolu's nomination form. And it has been sex texted from High Court, Court of Appeal, and the Supreme Court. And that is a certain case. So we have a lawful and constitutional, you know, uh, committee to, you know, leading our party at this time. In the next couple of days, we are going to have a, 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 an elected chairman that will take over from Buni so we can move forward. All right. All right. We have to wrap it up. Thank you very much.
for a time, uh, Ibrahim Oshino is the secretary of the medical. But let, let me quick, let me quickly yeah, say this: very you quickly, two please. guys are entitled to join APC. We are we need new members who would like to join so they can have a fresh information about our party. All right, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your time, and thanks for that uh, that, that piece of advice. Um, and all the best with your work as you plan for your convention. We'll be there definitely. Plus TV Africa. Ibrahim Oshinovo is the uh, uh, Secretary of the Medical and Risk Committee of the APC uh, ahead of that national convention. Interesting one. We have to move on um, to our next uh, conversation. Mercy. Of course. And when we return, we'll be looking at the issue of inflation for Nigeria and what that holds for uh, you know, Nigerians and the entire economy. Please stay with us. <laughs>